It is the seventh Lego set taken from the movie Encanto and the fourth released this year. After the Madrigal House, there is also an extra division with Antonio's Animal Sanctuary, where the two tribute to all living beings is paid. The Lego Disney 43251 Antonio's Animal Sanctuary contains 310 elements and has a retail price of 40 euros or dollars, equivalent to a price per piece of almost 14 cents. Contains two minifigures, practically the same as those that appeared in the other sets. Mirabel and Antonio. Besides these two main characters, there are a couple more. In addition to the several animals on the set, such as birds, butterflies, frogs, and snakes, Shispy is back again and we have the first appearance of Pars, at least if we don't count the micro version that appeared in the previous year in Antonio's Magical Room. Despite its friend's kind of style, and if you don't consider the cut in the center for placing the curved brick, it even has a design that could be incorporated or compared with animals from City, without that uh, extremely adorable look that the animals in the Friends theme usually have. Moving on to the build, this is divided in two parts, also demonstrated with the two instruction books. One with what appears to be a house or part of one, namely Madrigal's house of course, the style is very similar, both in terms of colors and the construction details, especially on the roof, with very similar techniques. Outside, there are many birdhouses placed on the walls, flowers, and I also highlight a printed oval tile. Inside, a water dispenser, a closed section that I don't know if it is for an animal to sleep or to be washed, a brush, a drawing of Mirabella with Antonio, and a round plate twirl one by one, Clearly with a purpose here, commonly called as number 2. The second part is a tree, the real animal sanctuary. It has three levels and it is hollow with some details inside. From bottom to top, a plate with fruit and biscuits, and a lamp. In the middle, what I believe to be a blanket with several patterns, which I assumed for Antonio himself to sleep with his animal friends. Above, an observation point with binoculars and a book possibly to help identify all the different types of birds. Outside, several animals are spread across the tree, from snakes, frogs, birds, butterflies and even bees, represented on one by one tiles and their respective hive. Highlight also for the tire hanging on the tree. In conclusion, this seems like a good set for anyone who is a fan of the film and doesn't have the possibility to buy the larger version of Madrigal House. For a lower price, you can get possibly two of the film's most beloved characters and even some animals, including Shispy and Pars. I particularly like the fact that there are a few stickers and a large printed tile above the entrance to the house. On the other hand, I think the price is a little bit high, or at least it could contain one or another variety of animals. However, I see that LEGO practices the same direction as a film, as we still don't talk about Bruno. Will he appear one day as a figure? So, what is your opinion about the set? Are you going to buy it? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you Lego and Land for sending us up for a review. Your opinion on it are my own. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss more reviews in the upcoming days with more Disney, some classics and even technique. And most importantly, play well.